All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, here he is, Anthony Joshua. This man needs no introduction in Germany and really across the United Kingdom where he has done crowds nearing 100,000 people. And a lot of people think tonight in the UFC, it's that big show, big stage experience that could pay dividends for Anthony Joshua. And if it's not that, it'll probably be his pure boxing skills that figure to be as good, if not better, than any man's in this heavyweight division. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We go inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's easy to push. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Anthony John. Joshua! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former UFC heavyweight champion. Okay, guys, if you take yourself at all time, we'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. His misses are out of his opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punches. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You 
feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the floor? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah, no pity pack to this guy. This guy's trying to land, he's trying to land effective strikes. Just out of range with that left hook. Great punch landing with so much power. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, another leg takedown attempt here. And that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now for the top position? Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Good solid strike on the ground. Oh, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. with the ground and pound. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective time. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. You need to get out of there. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Five minutes in the books. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the mat. There it is, chest to the mat. Pressure goes down. He'll start to take the air from his opponent. Ready? Ready? Round two on the way. Short defense there to block the shot. Cut lands for him. Oh, straight right. 
Oh, pretty good entry here on the double leg takedown. No good. Joshua gets the tie clinch here. And now he's got the tie clinch. Big knee land. Battling for hooks. Oh, and there's another uppercut. DC, you got a pretty good uppercut. I'm not sure it's as good as his, but pretty good. It's not as good as this guy's. Because <laughs> this guy can throw it on both sides, and he throws it with the same amount of power to the body and to the head. He's very, very good at throwing uppercuts. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. And they both stand up. Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job. Oh, This fight! And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight. And there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot. And he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Some real power shots here. Oh, no! That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh! Ooh, big shot land. Ooh. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. And they separate. Man, he is sniffing out these takedowns from a mile away. Stuffed another shot there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And just misses with that big right hand. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, he's got him right here. Oh, big left. Oh. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Right punches there. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. They continue to exchange. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Guillotine attempt now. Looks as though he's got the neck. Watch Guillotine. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So. Back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, 
It was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. the punch nicely there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh. And they separate. Oh, a little single collar tie there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. If you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Right. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Straight right hand now just misses. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Takedown defense holds up. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Great point. Man, the attacks keep on coming, and now he's relegated to using just one eye. So swollen now on the left side. Barely missed on the number of the right here on the inside. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by AJ. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Flush right hand is true. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. He hurt him. Urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice punch by Joshua. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Switch, he lands to the body. Boy, Ty Plump. Right is there. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knee to the body. Oh, that's a nice. Oh! Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Double leg lands. Close guard. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, working inside the close guard now. Nice hammer fist. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Anthony Joshua. Oh, some big punches raining down here. Picking his spots well and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily. Posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he when he's having so much success doing it in fighting in the exact same manner? That's leading him to be ahead. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Oh, he's got the choke. He needs to push the arm to the side. 
get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He gets in there deep. There you go. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up. Get to your knees, close your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Joshua's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Both fighters throwing heat now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice punch there by Josh. Oh! Holy smokes! He put him to sleep! Diving punch lands. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Abe Levine has called a stop for this contest at 46 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Joshua. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.